All right, everybody, it's Matt with Natural Chemist and uh, my dad, Troy Tremblay. Today is uh, March 4th. It's, uh, it's probably 20, 20 degrees outside. 25. 25, maybe. Anyways, um, we have something rare for you guys today. My dad just got back from sunny Arizona. And uh, you know what he brought me? He brought me eucalyptus in here in Spokane. So we're gonna distill some eucalyptus, guys. And he didn't know it, he just saw, you know. And so um, I had to do some research based on the seed pods. I'll give you guys a close view up of these Here's seed those. pods here. Uh, so judging from what these seed pods look like, um, I believe this to be eucalyptus microtheca. Um, so we're gonna load it. I, I preheated the water, we're gonna do, um, so still no top on it, right? Still no top, just, just heating up the water. It's so cold outside that I normally don't start with the still running, but um, yeah, as you can see, we still have quite a bit of snow here in Spokane, Washington. And um, so, yeah. Um, all right, well, I gotta load this basket into that still. Uh, connect my condenser and then connect hoses and um, I'll get back to you guys all right all right guys I'm back uh, we got everything hooked up hoses um, our right uh, the, the condensers hooked up so but we do have one problem the snow broke broke both of my um, hydrosol collection bins and so I'm gonna have to run to the store real quick I probably have at least an hour or so so before there's enough steam to pass through the the eucalyptus leaves and then up over into it so I have about an hour um, to kill I did uh, plug in yep I plugged in the my electric heating band with this which will um, cut down on on cost or uh, on the heating time so this is helping heat this is at I keep this at 225 degrees um, and the only way I can tell is when I hit it with a laser what I what what it is so I never I never changed I never changed the the dial it's just always at 225 uh, all right, guys, I got to go get um, a hydrosol thing. I got to bring my oil collection thing out and put the funnel on it. And uh, we'll be back when we start collecting uh, eucalyptus leaves. So awesome. Thanks, guys. All right, guys, um, we're back. And we uh, just started to get steam and, and, and stuff come across. So let me zoom in on it. There's the oil coming across um, I did have to uh, <clears throat> turn up the water pressure a little bit obviously I really don't want steam coming out the bottom that's so that's what it, what it's happening in is is um, it's not condensing by the time it's getting pushed out by the pressure coming behind it so it needs to stay longer um, either so two things I can do I can either turn down the heat right I can turn down the heat which I did on, on the band Right, which will create less l less pressure coming across here, and so it'll spend more time in here. And the second thing I can do, um, which I both I did both actually, uh, I turned up the water pressure, so that more water, more cold water, is running throughout there, and and um, it's cooling quicker. So uh, it does look like it's working. We're getting less and less steam uh, coming across. It's not, it's never instant. It, you know, it has. Uh, it has to work its way up the different um, thermal barriers until it equals out but it does look like uh, I did solve the trick so we're getting I'll try to stand up and show it back out zoom that was too zoomed in um, we are getting some hydrosols um, there and uh, I, like I said we just started but um, you can see that there's oil droplets right on the edge of the um, on the <laughs> sorry I'm having a hard time today on the con condensing pipe coming out so you can see them before they drop off 
right? I hope you can. Um, so anyways, guys, it's, it's super cold out here. Um, so, um, I did look up what I, sh you know, what a good oil should have in this. Um, the large majority of whatever, of what's in this oil, like 16 or something, 17% should be alpha philandrine, which, um, fun fact, was named after eucalyptus philandra, but then eucalyptus philandra was renamed later to eucalyptus radiata. And we all know um, euc eucalyptus radiata is one of the other oils that is available to purchase for um, essential oils. But this, this particular oil happens to be the variety eucalyptus microtheca. Okay. Um, so let me see what else uh, chemical we got. I remember um, alpha philandrine uh, globul globulol is in this, uh, which is an alcohol. Um, alpha pinene, beta pinene. Now, what was interesting on the research paper I was reading, um, this was done in 2013 in Iran. Um, and they were looking into commercial isolation of the components for cheaper source than synthetics. And they thought that eucalyptus um, oil would be a good source of these products. So um, they, they had to sort, find out on a gas chromatography machine, you know, what the percentage is. Um, anyways, end result was that it is a good business opportunity that making isolating it from the oil stripping it out is is more cost effective than uh, making it synthetically so um, the more you know and I, you know so good business sense um, but yeah um, this is a little bit of rare of a of a variety luckily there's some research papers on this variety so I have some information to go to. Um, what else? Uh, it's cold. It's very hard to think when you're really cold. You know what though? The steam. It's like waves. Different waves are like at first it wasn't. And this is a heavy steam. You see it's sitting in the bowl, not rising out. That's crazy. Um, yeah, we already got a drip though. I mean, I got pretty much max water. Yeah, this is this is all the way off. I can unplug it. That that might help. Let me do that. Oh, my hands. Anyways, there we go. Unplugged. Uh, so I will be bottling the um, the hydrosol, and then I don't know. I I just hope that we get a decent amount of um, oil coming across you can see it now FYI the glue buddy which is that's what this collection tube is it's dirty so on the outside so uh, this isn't really good because I tried when I was spray painting my my still I oversprayed so what a lot of what you're seeing is overspray uh, paint on the outside and it's not like a brown oil it's probably a really clear oil um, maybe I can look in here maybe no it doesn't focus but what I can do is for you guys I have my glass collection tube now you just bear with me for a sec um, while I put this down and uh, try to set this up so I can show you guys uh, no that's not high enough Low enough, right. right there, maybe. All right. All right. All right. All right.
get this back on my head. Okay, try to focus this out. So there's the oil, that was like 10 seconds. So I, I do think we're gonna get a decent amount of oil. Um, if that was just 10 seconds of collection. Um, I, let me give it the smell test. Okay, it's, it's eucalyptus, but with like, almost like a woodsy, woodsy note to it. So you're not assaulted with like eucalyptus globalist which um, is pretty much the main one that you know of, but this has like a woodsy, a woodsy note to it. It's kind of nice. Um, anyways, you guys, uh, I don't know if you guys want to see the bottling pro. Yeah, you know what? I will. So I'll end it here, and um, I'll sh I'll, I want to show you guys what we end up getting from this run, all in all, like ounces, and um, the bottling process. So I'm gonna end it here and. Uh, cut back when when it's all done all right thanks guys all right guys i told you i would show you the bottling process and uh yeah so i let it settle you can see it's a lot clearer now so oh this one doesn't have the milliliters on it so leave and then so 15 milliliters is where the bottle go, starts to go up into the neck. Right. Oh, that one's not. Right there. Actually, that was pretty, pretty good. So you can see how the the oil, it, the line right before it goes up to the neck. Here, that's that's where 15 milliliters is on this. So we're just below 70, 70 minus 15 is uh, 60. No, 70 minus 15 is 55. Oh, 55. <sighs> right there. Perfect. So yeah, you, you see we did the, the measurement right below 70 and that's where 15 milliliters comes up. So I do my best, but they're all hand, hand filled at this point. So 55 minus, it should be exactly at 30 then, right? Or 55 minus 15 is 40, all right? All right. I didn't grab enough. Okay. All right, last one. So this we're gonna have a little bit of extra. Maybe do a sample size. Sample sizes, maybe. Um. And we will be getting another shipment when my grandfather returns from Arizona. He said that he's going to bring uh, some back, but just the shipping alone was over a hundred dollars for the 48 pounds that we got. So I mean, we're not going to make any money off of this, but it's just it's nice to have and add to the, the inventory of what oils I produce. I wish this thing bent because I don't want to suck from the center. Without getting into it. Alright. So that's it, guys.